Well, it's been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion by Montana. Here he is, the undisputed baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion. And man, does he have all the confidence and the self-belief that comes with that distinction. Yeah, when you're the baddest man on the planet, you are confident. You have to be a bit arrogant, a bit cocky. And that's what this guy has. He has been here on so many different occasions. This is like another night in the office, but you can never tell by the way that he prepares. When you watch him prepare, he treats every one of these defenses as, as if it's the first time he's fighting for a UFC championship. No, you put that well. He has had that patented intensity about him this week, trying to occupy some headspace in the challenger. Huge heavyweight title fight is upon us. Won't be long now, folks. All right, so the tension is palpable. Both fighters have graced the octagon, ready to go here at the famed Honda Center in the Big A Anaheim, California. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Dynamite. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Dateline, Anaheim, California, USA. Good to have you with us inside Honda Center tonight. This has become an annual stop for the MMA leader, and there have been any number of signature performances that have gone down inside these very walls. I'm not sure any place has had more title changes than the Honda Center, especially in the heavyweight division. A great place for heavyweight fight, but if you go in as the champion, just know on most nights, that belt's going in the opposite direction. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. That's how you control the fight. Fight behind the jab. How good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching this thing. I'm exhausted trying to control all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. What a fun fight. Yeah, I hate to be the punch counter tonight. <laughs> Checks the leg kick. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Nice straight right lands. Oh, knee strike right to the midsection there. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. 
great job blocking that shot. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this guy. It's a master class, John. Oh! Oh! He's hit! Ooh, diving punch lands. We have crossed the midpoint here in our opening round. having his way with him here. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Back to his feet. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that was in the night. Roundtree's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of the... Oh, guillotine, guillotine here! That guillotine is tight. He's trying to tighten the grip on his guillotine choke. He seems to have it, but he's got to really get his hips up into his opponent and make sure his opponent doesn't roll off to the side. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Under two minutes now to go in the round. Great submission defense. I need more action on the ground. I'm going to stand you up, man. Come on. Oh. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC. And defensively, you better be careful. We might get a stoppage here. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Roundtree's looking to pass out of the half guard here, maybe looking for side control. He's denied. And there you go, again, half guard. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Lands the ground and pound strike. Big ground and pound. He's very accurate in the ground and pound, and it's showing because he's landing so consistently. He goes back to the well and lands another strike from the top, and now you can see the swell. Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. Up. Final seconds here of round one. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Yeah. Round two straight ahead. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if it continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two on the way. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a... Oh! oh, my 
goodness. Oh, big knee to the body, man alive. Get right here. Nice. Able to land there with the straight left. Oh, nice. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches and punches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Round trees blocking well now. You see the fighter raise the guard to protect that obviously damaged nose. All right, so he's dealing with some swelling upstairs, and you got to think his opponent is going to continue to... Another hurt. He's hurt bad. Three minutes and change to go in round two. Takedown defense holds up. Hook shot attempt to the head here. Instead, it's blocked by Roundtree Jr. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Trying to hammer that reflex. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but... At this point, you just gotta find that kill shot and get him out of there. A lot of times that comes with breath, that comes with taking your time. You get excited and you wanna finish with it, you think it's right there, but at times you just overswing and you miss a lot. He needs to slow down if he wants to get his opponent out of this fight. Two minutes now to go round two. Oh, how clean is that jab by Roundtree Jr.? Lands another strike upstairs, and for his opponent, that is certainly not going to help matters when it comes to the swelling. He can't miss it, and, and when you saw the swelling initially, you knew that he needed to change something. He still has not changed that, and while it's getting worse, it's still not at a point where we should go. Back to his feet. No surprise to see him rinse and repeat as he continues. Oh! That'll do it! Oh, oh my goodness! I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time, I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 39 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Dynamite! So how about this? We have a new UFC heavyweight champion of the world. I think that guy beats Daniel Cormier. I, I mean, this guy beats anybody. I'm telling you right now, he is the king of the world for a reason. The number one heavyweight in the world. A guy that possesses knockout power, confidence, and heart. It's going to be very difficult to take this belt away from this champ.